I just wanted to try to put things into a little bit of perspective here. So I was just at Tractor Supply and picked up a 28 pound bag of dog food for my son's girlfriend's dog. I couldn't carry it out to the car. So someone brought it to my car for me because it's way too heavy. I just brought it in the house. I'm like completely and utterly out of breath. Guys, this is 28 pounds. This is a 28 pound bag of dog food and I just lost 23 pounds. What the, wow. <laughs> Holy crap. So just super fast, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, I'm here in the kitchen and I am meal prepping my lunch for the week. So in the Instapot, I have got um, some chicken breast. I put a little bit of chicken broth and ranch seasoning in there. And then I'm just gonna shred that up really quick. And I'm gonna put that with my light ranch dressing because guys, this has got 60 calories for two tablespoons. Hellman's mayonnaise has 100 calories for one tablespoon. So I'm gonna be putting that in my chicken salad. It'll give it a nice tangy flavor. It'll be a little bit richer. I'm gonna chop up some dill pickles, no calories in my pickles. And then I buy the Joseph's pita. And this week I saw the heart friendly. The heart friendly are only 35 calories for a half a pita. 35 calories. So we're gonna be doing that this week instead. And um, I'll let you know if it tastes any different. The other ones were 90, I think, for a half. 70 or 90, I'll have to check in my app and see. Um, so yeah, we're just here getting ready to um, make our chicken for the week. So that way everything's meal prepped. I have lunches all set. And then I'm just organizing my dinner. Well, there you go. So. How crazy is that? Um, 20 pounds, 25 pounds, guys, so much more than um, I would have even anticipated. So yeah, let's talk for a couple of minutes. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Um, if you are new here, I'm Cheryl, and this is my channel. Welcome to all of my wonderful, fabulous friends who have been here for the last several weeks. Welcome back. I hope you are all having a fantastic weekend. It is Sunday, April 28th, um, sorry, <laughs> 2024. And we finally have a beautiful day here in Massachusetts. It's about 70 degrees. And if you can hear noises in the background, I'm sorry. Um, my husband and my son are outside on ATVs, cleaning up sticks and um, doing some burning because I believe burning season ends um, in just a couple of days. So we're trying to, to get all of that cleaned up outside. So I apologize if there's any background noise, but I just wanted to check in with a couple uh, for, you know, a couple of minutes because, um, you know, I love hanging out with you guys. So yeah, what did you think of my um, dog food situation? Crazy, right? I literally went to the store to get a small thing of food because I have um, the grand pup here today. And they, the kids left early and we didn't have any food. So I said, I'll just go get them some. And they didn't have the small bags. And I was like, dude, I can't carry that big bag out. It was 23 pounds. Um, it might as well have been 100. And then when I got home, I was like, mm, my husband's not home. So let me see if I can carry this in. And I looked at it and it was 25 pounds was what it was. 28. Is that what I said? Sorry. It was 28 pounds. Um, and I mean, I know I can carry it. It's just heavy. So I picked it up and I was like, dang, that was hard to take in. Like there's a step up and then maybe four steps into my house. And I was like huffing and puffing. And I was like, holy moly, I just lost 23 pounds. Like seriously, I just lost almost that entire bag of dog food. And it just kind of blew my mind that I might not feel like I've lost a lot of weight and I might not look like I've really lost any weight, but I could not pick that up and carry it for more than the 45 seconds that I did. But yet I was carrying around that 23 pounds. So that is my big half week, five milligram update guys, 23 pounds. So um, I have lost 2.6 pounds since 
Thursday. So we started our five milligrams on Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, technically three days because when I woke up Sunday morning, I did my weigh-in, 2.6 pounds. Now you guys know I'm crazy with the scale, right? So around, I don't know, 1.30 this morning, I woke up and I was in the bathroom and I was like, let me just try do a test here because <laughs> you guys know I'm like psycho with this stupid scale. Um, and I, I, I did a weigh in and then I calculated that in my head. And then when I came back at 7.30, 7.45 this morning and I actually like did my official weigh in, it was another pound down. And I was like, so make sure that you're getting your sleep guys. That's my tip. Make sure that you're getting as many hours of sleep in there um, because clearly that's when we're losing our weight, right? Like it's still a little mind boggling to me. Um, but yeah, so when we go to sleep at night, the little miracle fairies come in and that's when, when we're losing weight. So make sure that you're getting your sleep in. Um, yeah, so halfway through five milligram week and let's just talk about it really quick. So I'm thrilled um, to be over two and a half pounds in the last few days. I am absolutely elated at this point. I'm I'm very, very happy. Um, not a lot of major side effects with the five milligrams. It's pretty similar um, to the 2.5 right now. It's very similar to the beginning of the 2.5. So in the beginning of the 2.5, I'd have occasional bouts of nausea. I'd have a little bit of constipation, a little fatigue. And this seems to be kind of the same way. So I did two months on the 2.5. Thursday, I began, I took two 2.5. So I took five milligrams of the medication itself. And I am taking Zepbound in case anybody um, does not know what I'm doing. So... I have had um pretty okay pretty okay week not really any major side effects. I kind of feel like my body is telling me when I'm hungry. Like I'm still getting hungry, but I'm getting hungry at like a normal time. Like it was around 11:45 today and I hadn't had anything other than like my 5 ounces of protein shake and my coffee and I was like I haven't eaten anything and I was hungry. That's kind of normal, right? My body should be telling me I'm hungry. So um, I had a large protein bar at that point, like a meal replacement one. I have snack ones and I have meal replacement ones. I did a meal replacement one that was 290 calories. And I'm not hungry. It is about 3 o'clock right now. Sorry, yeah, 3.30. And I'm like, I'm just starting to get a little hungry, but I'm fine. And we're having dinner at my mom's, so I'm just going to wait till 5.30. Um, and we're having roasted chicken, potatoes, and asparagus. So we're having, you know, a healthy a healthy meal. Um, so the one thing I will say is this morning I was a little constipated. Now, I was fine Friday, Saturday. I was okay. I didn't have any constipation. This morning I was a little constipated. And I've been having a lot of, like, body aches, which I have fibromyalgia. I have a lot of body aches already. Um, I've had a lot of issues. I've had a lot of um, surgeries in the past, ankle surgery, ACL surgery. I've had a lot of that going, you know, stuff in the past already. Um, but I've been, I've been kind of hurting lately. So one thing I will tell you is take my advice. Don't do as I do. Do as I say, not as I do, as we would tell our children. Um, I have been lax in other areas. So I haven't been taking my magnesium regularly for the past couple of weeks because I didn't feel like I was needing it. I didn't have any constipation or anything. So I didn't want to take something additional. And I forget. So once I started forgetting for a couple of days, I just, it wasn't a big deal. And um, I also haven't had any electrolytes since Friday. And I've been really bad with my water. So I'm trying right now to drink some more water. And you guys know I'm drinking the, um, most of the time. During the school day, I will drink. This will be full with water with electrolytes in it. But when I'm home, I'm generally drinking um, the Walmart flavored carbonated sparkling water. And right now I have Fuji Apple in here. And that was at the... Um, suggestion of, I want to say it's like Fab Fit 
mom or something. Um, I'll have to go back and check and see what her name is. But she's another YouTuber that I watch that does um, grocery hauls and stuff like that. And she's she's awesome. And she had said that Fuji apple was her favorite. And I was like, mm, I don't think so. It's going to taste like apple juice. It literally tastes like biting into an apple. It's so good. Peach and strawberry are my favorite. But the Fuji apple is right up there. Um, I like the pineapple coconut, but it's almost a little too sweet, but throw a little bit of rum in there for the summer and you have a very low calorie cocktail. So, um, I'm excited to try that this summer and see how my stomach handles, handles it. Um, sorry. So yeah, I have been not so good and not on track with the things that I should be doing. So I have not been keeping up with, and I stopped the beta fiber as well. And I think I'm going to go, I'm going to order that now. I'm actually going to write that down right now because um, I just had ordered that on Amazon. So I'm going to get the Benefiber going again. I'm going to get my electrolytes back in. And I think the magnesium was helping overall um, pain and like my, my body pain because I do get a lot of like aches and pains. My left knee, I had ACL surgery last year, last August. So I'm not even a year out. And um, the ACL is good. It's intact. It's strong. But the last week, my knee is just absolutely killing me to the point where I'm having a hard time walking again. So I'm not like, you know, apt to run out and go back to the doctor and, you know, start doing an MRI and stuff. I'm just trying to wait it out a little bit and see if I didn't tweak it or like what's happening. Um, which brings me to walking. I had started to try to get ready to start walking a couple of weeks ago and I had started at school during my lunch hour and then that was the week the baby was born and then we had vacation and now I've just been in constant pain. So I have not got back into a regular schedule to walk. Um, so I'm still really not doing a heck of a lot of exercises. I am going to try to start doing little five pound weights on my arms um, this week because I did start to notice, I mean, I already had flabby arms, but like it's already like really bad. Why is it that when we start to lose weight, this is the first place that it's noticeable? Why? Because I'm sure that I'm not the only one. I've seen other videos where people are complaining um, or it's, it's actually very noticeable, but like, why is that? And for women, the first thing we have to do is buy new bras and tops, like really? That's where you're gonna you're gonna focus all of the attention on. But I do have to say, I'm wearing a pair of pants that I haven't worn in a long time, or maybe ever. I think I bought them and they were like too small and they were uncomfortable. And um, I'm wearing them today. So hey, I will take whatever win I can get. Right. So 23 pounds. So I am super excited with that. So we are we're moving, we're cruising. You know. So um, you know, working on it. I'm looking at my notes. So thank you to all of you wonderful people who said, you know, try to be a little bit more organized, a little bit more focused. I am trying to take all of your suggestions and all of your comments I do take to heart. So let me just double check my notes and make sure that I have everything here. Um, I think that was pretty much it. I gave you guys a brief rundown of what I'm going to have for lunch this week. Sorry. And I am trying to get on um, a little bit of a better schedule. So I have my my food for the week kind of all planned out already. I know that I am making my grilled chicken for lunch right now. I am doing um, grilled chicken on the, like actual grilled chicken I'm doing on the grill this week. I'm making shredded chicken. I do it in the Instapot. It's just easier that way um, for my chicken salad. I will do some type of a pasta I think this week because I, I do still like you guys know I do still do things normally so I'll either do like a lasagna or um and sometimes when I do things like that like my son asked for pasta this week if I do that if I make like spaghetti I have um I have a zoodle maker and I have frozen zoodles in the freezer I know I do um and I will use my zoodles and I will put that right with sauce and a little bit of pasta, so it kind of like makes more of a pasta. I did want to get some spaghetti squash and try that, and I forgot when I got my groceries. Um, typically, I haven't been a big fan of the spaghetti squash in the past, 
but I'm kind of intrigued and I want to try it again because my taste buds have definitely changed recently. Um, but I've seen people do it in the crock pot. So I kind of like want to let a, uh, a summer squash, a spaghetti squash, go all day in the crock pot and see if I can, if I can get it out. Let me know if you guys have tried that before, because that looks pretty cool. I want to try that because I do love pasta, but if I zoodle up some, zo um, some zucchini, I will eat it like pasta and I twirl it with my fork and I eat it with, you know, meatballs or whatever we're going to have. And I just love it. I have told you guys before, zucchini is so versatile. I love it. I will slice it up thin, put some Parmesan or some breadcrumbs or something on it. I will put it in the air fryer. I'll put it in the oven, make it like chips. Um, I've done it in lasagna. I do it in, like I've made a pasta dish with the little tiny um, ditalini pastas. So just like there's a little bit of pasta or orzo or a little pastina in there with chopped up zucchini. Zucchini is so versatile. I absolutely love, love, love it. So I will definitely be doing something with zucchini this week. Um, I've got some half chicken breasts in the freezer that I want to use this week. So I'll probably just roast those. Um, we'll have to see, um, unless that's what my mom's doing for dinner tonight, because she said that she was making um, just simple roasted chicken. So I don't know if she was doing it on the bone or if she's doing breast. So if, if they're on the bone, then maybe I won't do that this week so that, you know, we don't have the same thing twice. But if she's just doing regular chicken breast, that I might do that because my husband loves um, a nice chicken breast on the bone. And then my son and I can split another one. So yeah, that's just a couple of the things that I am planning for the week as far as meals. And then I have my, my lunch all set and ready to go. And... I think that's about it as far as the check-in. So the next thing I just wanted to check with you guys to see, has anyone been on the Eli Lilly website recently? So I have heard from another YouTuber that this is new, um, but I cannot confirm. I did not see it when I was on the website, but let me right show you. on the Eli Lilly website, go to Zetbound. And it gives you directions. So here is the pen. And it shows you how to use the pen, the plunger, the medicines inside here. And it goes through um, step by step. It shows you, just like the instructions that we have, the places that you should be injecting it into, how to use it specifically, where, you know, what to do. Goes through the whole thing, right? Now, if you keep scrolling... If you keep scrolling through here, you will see single dose vial instructions for use. So it is very clearly giving us directions, instruction for use, single dose vial instructions for use. Um, sorry. So it gives us now, sorry step-by-step -step instructions for an actual needle and a vial. And it has listed the 2.5, the 5, 7.5, 10, 12.5, and 15 milligrams. And then it gives us step-by-step -step instructions, just like we had instructions for the, um, the pen. So I have been on this site before multiple times. I have been on here multiple times in the past. I have looked through the instructions before. I never saw this before. So I cannot confirm a thousand percent that this is new, but um, this is the first time that I have seen it. And now I've been trying to do some research, trying to find out, you know, when this was updated and I haven't come across that. But in the meantime, I found this maybe Friday night. Yesterday, I was watching another video of another YouTuber documenting her journey and she said it was new as well. Again, I cannot confirm or deny. So, you know, do your own research, do your own, you know, due diligence. But from what I recall seeing in the past, I don't remember ever seeing this. I don't remember seeing any indication 
of a vial um, on any of the website pages. So in my head, I am just hoping and praying that that is good news, that maybe something exciting is happening and maybe they are, um, that they're going to be telling us something. So as many of you know, Zetbound, Eli Lilly has an earnings call on Tuesday, April 30th. So we are all anticipating and hoping that we are going to hear some information um, from Eli Lilly on Tuesday about the shortage. So fingers crossed, prayers going out that we get some information because, you know, we're all in the same boat here with Zepbound and Manjaro with the shortage and, um, you know, not knowing where our next shot really is going to come from. So that was promising to me. I'm not going to lie. I don't know how I feel about it. I will do it if I have to. It's going to be hard. This was very difficult for me to um, take the plunge <laughs> to um, actually do this shot. And if anybody doesn't know, the current pens that we're using, so this is Zetbound. Um, Manjaro looks just like it. And then this is, sorry, this is the pen that we're talking about here. Um, so the medication is in here. You take the cover off. You put this on your skin. This purple plunger would be up a little bit when you first get it. Uh, you unlock your medication and you hit the plunger. I never, ever feel it. Last week was the first time I ever felt anything, and that was just for a few seconds. Um, so it's super, super e easy, auto-injectable. If, um, if they switch over, then it would be in a vial. We have to draw the medication out ourselves and actually stick a needle into us. That will be hard for me, um, and I'm sure it will be hard for some. I guess we'll just kind of have to wait and see. But um, yeah, so, you know, that was just some information that I came across. Maybe some of you have already, you know, seen that information, gotten that information, but it was at least something promising for for right now. So that's a little morsel that I'm going to hold on to and hope for the best for, you know, the weeks coming. And we'll just kind of have to see from there. So, you know, at least there's promising news. We do have the call that's happening this week. Hopefully we get some information. It looks like they have updated the website to include single doses, uh, single vials with multiple doses in one vial. Um, and Eli Lilly has bought the new plant in Wisconsin that is an injectable pen plant that plant was already making other injectable medications and Eli Lilly has gone and purchased that plant. So, you know, there has been, they obviously, you know, are aware of the problem, not that they couldn't be, but they are working, they're doing things to, to work to improve and fix the problem. So, you know, all great things, right guys? So that is our Sunday recap. I will be back with you guys um, probably Wednesday evening. <laughs> for our yeah so my shot is on Thursday but generally I do my um my recaps on Wednesday just because that's when it's most convenient for me to put a video out um so yeah look for our week nine five milligram full week in review this was just a little um halfway marker and I hope you guys are all having a wonderful, fantastic weekend as we come to the end of April. I cannot believe that April is is almost over and um, it's going to be May in just a couple of days. That's wild, but exciting because I will be off from work in just two more months. So everybody have a wonderful, fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here. Remember, if you are new here or if you have not yet subscribed, I would really appreciate it if you would go and hit that subscribe button. Share this video if you think it would be enjoyable to anybody else. And we will see you real soon. Take care.